Hi everyone. In this new video I want to show you how to modify our Shami skateboard so that we walk faster since it usually comes limited between 20 to 25 kilometers per hour. That above all applies for more developed countries such as Spain. And then in my country, as there is no type of law or restriction to respect about the skateboards so. I'm going to do it in that sense. But first I am going to clarify for things. Why is it for them to do this? And be fully aware. The first thing is that I am not going to take responsibility for everything of any damage or thing that you do. Since this what we are going to do is to modify the system of the skateboard. Second this goes to those of Spain, eh? Yes, for some reason. They realize that you are going more than 25 kilometers per hour. You may be fined. When it comes to making these types of modifications. Third, they have to have an Android device. Since it won't work on iPhone, the modification. But nevertheless, you can connect with another external application. And fourth, this last is that in the official application, the Xiaomi Home, stop will stop working. So therefore, then I'm going to show you this little application, what is called M365 dashboard, but you can also use other. What's in the Play Store? With nothing more, with nothing more to say, I begin. Hey, my skateboard is the Xiaomi Mixcute Session, essential or the light version. Therefore, this skateboard, huh? It usually comes very limited to 20 kilometers per hour. But then, uh, this skateboard, huh? I already wanted to modify it, and lately, he has been going at 30 kilometers per hour in sport mode. Well then, as we know that the original system of the skateboard, Inter 20 is limited to 25 kilometers per hour. So, what are we going to do? Is from is to use an application called M365 Downgy. With this app, we are going to download some files, that is, some files, which are in the description. I do tell you that. Choose the one of the corresponding Panditaneta. If yours is a normal M365, download for M365. Or if yours is the Show me Pro to Pro to download for the Pro 2. Do not go to download the others because it can fail at something. Well, huh? We are going to give it where it says to connect. We activate the location option. We turn on the Bluetooth. And then therefore, we wait for it to appear. And as you can see, my skateboard appears there. Is the essential? And then... It's not asking us to sync the power button. We do. And with that I would be fully connected. Ready once with this beep. What we are going to do? What we are going to do is open the BIM. We are going to allow it. And therefore, we are going to look at the downloads out there. One we must look for the corresponding file, which in my case must be the, the essential version. What is this that you can see there? But obviously download the one that is corresponding. Why all those file names? Ah, they will appear there in the description. So, in my case, I'm going to choose the essential because it is the one that corresponds on my skateboard. And then, well, it says that it is a Finwa totally not compatible. And don't worry about that, because everything is already rehearsed, so that you can see it. I'm, I'm just going to give it yes. Ready once there we are going to flash. And as we can see it is starting to flash. So therefore eh, we wait a while and we come back. Good while the system is loading as such. There are two things I have to tell you. When you modify the skateboard you may. It can shorten the life of the batteries. So therefore, this just use it. When there is the possibility of going fast, 
and therefore have the battery fully charged. If you don't ha, huh, may have serious problems and therefore, because the battery may not resuscitate it. Well once when he appears there, and then the skateboard, return to the original state. What we are going to do is turn it off, and from there we are going to turn it back on. We verify. Ready there, as you can see it is already fully modified. And well they're all ready. Therefore we are going to use an external application. And we are going to activate the permissions and all that. Let's go find our skateboard. We select it. And then with this app. I am going to show you an example so that you can see. Obviously asks me the same thing as the one in the step. Put the button on. Already with this little whistle it means that already. We can use it without any problem. Then from the application it realizes. For you to see. Let's wait a bit. Look at the speed you are reaching at those moments, up to 25 kilometers per hour in do mode in normal mode. But what would happen if I suddenly put it in sport mode? And there as you can see, reaches almost 30 kilometers per hour. Obviously at all ends. Well, they won't work the same. Some may go up to 26, 27, 28 kilometers per hour. But the normal, it reaches 30. And then I'm not going to show you an example there. And now to conclude this video. I hope it has served. Let me know with a like. Subscribe, activate the bell and all. And then I'm going to show you how it works in real life already with already with the modified skateboard.